All right, let's become a concept artist and uh, install Stable Diffusion so we can create some AI art. We are going to work with a web UI made by Automatic 1111. So let's uh, choose Automatic 1111. So I have Googled it. Let's play, press the first one here, GitHub. Choose Stable Diffusion Web UI. And you can scroll down. And there's installations instructions here. We're gonna skip straight to number four, and then go back because uh, this is a big file. So press dependencies, official download here. Now you go to Hugging Face, and here you need to create an account, log in. Because if you don't, I'm already logged in. If you don't, you can't see the file. So create an account, log in, download this file. And then we'll go back get Python, latest Python 3 release, scroll down, here in the bottom Windows installer 64 bits. Save that, Let's start with Python. Install now. Add, yeah, and add Python 3.10 to path. Um, while that work, while that's working, we're gonna go and download Git, 64-bit Git for Windows. Download that. Python is successful. Close that. Start Git. Next, next. Um, I'm just using Notepad as Git's default editor. If you haven't, you know, if you know what you're doing here, pick what you want, but Unless just use no no that. But get decide. Yeah. Uh, boom. 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 Yeah. You actually don't need to change anything here. Boop, done. All right, finish. Go back to the installation instructions, and then we're gonna start our command prompt. We're gonna end up in, uh, well, sort of the root. Nowadays, it's in the user, your user account. And I'm gonna copy paste this git clone. Just run it. And it's gonna copy the whole repository into your a folder on your computer. And if you open that folder, you can see Stable Fusion Web UI here. And then we're going to take the models that we just downloaded, which is the SDV1 uh, 4 CKPT, and just put it there. And we're going to rename it to model. Then you can go back and start the web UI user batch file. Just double click it or press enter. Now it's going to go through an installation and then it'll start. All right, so this took a couple of minutes and started uh, the cloning here. It's downloading a lot of stuff and installing it, but now we're done. And uh, the Stable Diffusion has actually launched. It's uh, live on your computer. So what you need to do is you need to go to the local host in your web browser. Uh, so you can either copy paste this, or you can go local host at 7860. This is going to take you into Stable Diffusion. All right, so uh, we have started Stable Diffusion. Let's create something cool. Let's create some uh, concept art. Let's go with Viking Warrior in Woods. Concept art, digital art, art station. Maybe add in uh, cinematic in there. Let's see where that gets us. Uh, sampling steps, 20 is a bit low. Uh, 50 is a good baseline. We're going to go with 75 here. We're going to change it to LMS. 
you can try around, play around with these. They're all very similar um, when you're starting out, uh, but change a bit when you're, you know, at the more advanced level. One image scale is how the AI interprets your prompt. So a uh, low scale would make the AI listen less to your prompt and uh, create um, more from the AI's mind. And if you increase the scale, it will make sure that, you know, follow your prompt by the letter. Play around with values from like 7 to 14-ish for now. Let's keep it at default 7. Let's keep the, the rest default. I'm going to go into settings and change this one. Show image creation progress. Let's set that to 3. That way we'll be we will be able to see the image as it's being generated. Press apply, go back, and uh, well, let's see what this takes us. Generate. Now you're in the process of creating your very first AI generated art. And we can see our little Viking appearing here. And uh, yeah, first one, pretty decent. I mean, the head's a little crooked, the face is a little weird, and um, Spear appears to be, um, well, it's not in his hand. So, there you have it. Like and subscribe if you want to.